40 yards this time of year. Well, good evening and welcome to the Arbor Hills Nature Preserve in Plano, Texas. Tonight's exercise is a turbo burn down test of the Ace Beam TAC 2 AA. This is the black version with the TN6500 KLED running the 1800 milliamp hour battery. I do have the blue version on order. That is the high candela version of the light. We'll probably do some sort of a comparison video in the future, but I'm going to try and do something a bit different tonight. I've had a number of requests to include thermal imaging in a lot of the uh, turbo examples. So I'm going to do the traditional timed burn down test, but I've already published what the turbo output looks like here at the preserve. Since I already have that, and we all know it's pretty much overkill for night hiking, that burn down is supposed to happen over the course of a, about a minute. So the first minute and a half, maybe two minutes, is going to be thermal imaging. I'll have the timer going. I'll leave the light on after that. And then I'll take the light out in the preserve, and then we'll see how it continues to burn down. Now, the stated ANSI FL1 runtime after that first step down is approximately two hours. So we'll just see how it goes over the course of the night. Need to let the uh, sun go down a bit more, and then we'll get started.
And we've been burning in turbo now for nearly 12 minutes. I'm at the bridge where I normally do output level test. My headlamp off. Line of sight, a good 40 yards this time of year. And field of view. Well, let's take it out deeper in the preserve and see how it continues to burn down. So here's a reference path I like to use in these tests. So I'm out here night hiking, and uh, this is the light I happen to be using. Excellent downrange, but really it's the side to side that is uh, the play here. I've got very good peripheral awareness. It's very easy for me to see things like the slope of the terrain. I could get good contrast in areas that I might trip over well in advance. And I can see out to nearby tree lines pretty easily. So just crossed 30 minutes. Let me get everything switched around here. Now this is where I filmed the full-on turbo output for the YouTube short. I will provide the link to that video. Of course, it's not as strong in terms of output, but uh, I'm still, for the purposes of basic detection, uh, able to go over 100 yards. So the uh, output level so far has been holding up extremely consistently. And just crossed over now, or I hope that uh, shows up okay without my headlamp. Save me a step. We're back at the bridge, but looking over the opposite edge. And this time of year, nothing's really in bloom just yet. I can get a good 60 yards line of sight, and I can still do basic detection all the way to the uh, far tree line and edge of the creek. So after an hour, let's say you're jammed up using this as an emergency light. Yeah, you're totally still good to go. I would have no issue using this level of illumination on any trail out here at the preserve. And just over an hour 20, we're back up to the area that we started. And what I wanted to do was establish a reference shot. This is the illumination level we've had uh, ever since I started the uh, exercise after the thermal video. It's been very consistent. And so now that we have established a base, I'm just going to sit back, relax, and let it burn. Time update. About 10 seconds ago, we had a change in the battery indicator. And current output. Time update, and I think you can see here that we've lost something, so the light is definitely stepping down to that uh, ANSI FL1 level if it's not already there. I'm just going to let it keep going. And we are comfortably over two hours right now, still going. And there's our reference shot, but it is almost gone. All right, at 2.15, and what I want to show you here is if you're just trying to follow the path right in front of you,
this is certainly useful and I would say probably still better than your cell phone. All right, not quite two and a half hours. And this is what I mean following the path right in front of you. I have maybe six yards of downrange. Time update and output update. For over 10 minutes, this has been well below what my cell phone can crank out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it a night, head back to the apartment. I will let the uh, light run until the battery is exhausted and report that time. So thank you very much for uh, sticking with me for a pretty long exercise. I hope you found some useful information. For me personally, at least from an academic standpoint, these tend to be some of my favorite exercises. And uh, as always, until the next review, thank you very much for your time and thank you for watching the video.